All right, Shalom. First and foremost, I'm going to give all praise, honor, and infinite glory to Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahweh Shai, Bahashim, Rakak, Kadash. Okay, Yahweh is the name of the Heavenly Father who the world ignorantly calls God. Okay, and Yahweh Shai is the name of His only begotten Son who the world ignorantly calls Jesus Christ. Okay, that those are their true names. Okay, in the ancient Hebrew. All right. I'd like to give double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone that rule well, all right, who teach 100% truth according to the Most High's will, all right, from the Bible, okay? Peace and salutations to the hopeful elect of Israel, starting with the 144,000, down to the one-third of Israelites who will be saved out of America when this destruction comes, all right, which is close, all right? It's almost around the corner, Okay? I'd like to give more praises to Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahweh Shai, Bahashim, Rakakadash, for allowing me to do another video to the Holy Spirit, which guides me. Okay. And hey, this video is going to be called, all right, This is Why We Call You the Devil. Okay. Big Bang Theory. All right. So this is going to be a, a series, all right, that I've been doing, that I'm going to do, all right, through the Spirit, all right. That apostle to hard deemed, all right. That a lot of different brothers are doing these type of videos, all right. Um, explaining why we call Esau the devil, all right. What is the devil the word devil means? Deceiver, okay. So this is why you're the deceiver of this whole world, all right, of the whole universe. Okay. This is why. All right. So I'm this video is gonna be on the Big Bang Theory, okay. The um the theory of um of whole existence of the universe and life as we know it coming from an explosion, all right, a random explosion. Okay, this is the theory that these so-called white um these so-called Esau Edom, all right, and these elites, all right, these so-called white people push out, all right. So first of all, let's get this word theory, okay. It says a, sup a supposition, all right, or a system of ideas intended to explain something, especially one based on general principles independent of the thing to be explained, all right? It says supp uh, supposition or a system of ideas, okay? So ideas, all right? So it's something someone has to just come up with on their own, on their own will, all right? Not, it's just something someone... Uh, Someone just comes up with basically, all right. It's not backed on anything, all right. They think it may work, all right. Different theories, all right. So, um, let's watch this short video on Esau's well well known theory, all right, or what this world calls the Big Bang theory, okay. The universe, the universe is, is everything. everything. From the, From the tiniest, tiniest particles, particles to, to the largest galaxies, galaxies to, to the very existence of space, time, and life. But, but how did it all begin? The origin of the universe is the origin of everything. Multiple scientific theories plus creation myths from around the world have tried to explain its mysterious genesis. However, the most widely accepted explanation is the Big Bang Theory. The Big Bang Theory states that the universe began as a hot and infinitely dense point. Only a few millimeters wide, it was similar to a supercharged black hole. About 13.7 billion years ago, this tiny singularity violently you see, 13.7 billion years ago. That's another lie that Esau pushes out, all right? He keeps putting these time, all right, labels on the universe billion years ago, billions of years ago, okay? He makes th these things up, all right? There's no way to track, all right, the time period of w when this so-called Big Bang Theory happened, okay? He's making it all up, but to everybody, it seems like it's true, all right, because because everything the white man says, right, you so-called blacks and teams and Native Americans, all right, you just you're just gonna believe, all right. You know why? Because he's ruling right now, all right. Because he's in the power seat, okay. 
went like exploding. Explode. And it, it is from this explosion, explosion, this bang, that all matter, energy, space, and time were created. What, what happened next were two major stages of the universe's evolution. evolution. Called the radiation and matter, matter eras, they're, they're defined, defined by, by key events, events that help shape, shape the universe. universe. First came the radiation era, named for the dominance of radiation right after the Big Bang. This era is made of smaller stages, called epochs, that occurred within the universe's first tens of thousands of years. The earliest is the Planck epoch. No matter existed in the universe at this time, only energy and the ancestor to the four forces of nature, the superforce. At the end of the stage, however, a key, a key event, event occurred in which gravity split away from the superforce. Next came the Grand Unification Epoch, named for the three remaining unified forces of nature. This epoch ended when one of those forces, called strong or strong nuclear, broke away. Then the inflationary epoch began, during which the universe rapidly expanded. Almost instantly, it grew grew from the size of an atom to the size of a grapefruit. The universe at this time was piping hot, and it churned with electrons, quarks, and other particles. Then came the electroweak epoch, when the last two forces, electromagnetic and weak, finally split off. During the next stage, the quark epoch, all of the universe's ingredients were present. However, the universe was still too hot and dense for subatomic particles to form. Then, in the Hadron Epoch, the universe cooled down enough for quarks to bind together and form protons and neutrons. In the lepton and nuclear epochs, the radiation era's last two stages, the protons and neutrons underwent a significant change. They fused and created nuclei. And in, and in doing so, they, they created, created the first chemical, chemical element, element in the universe, in the universe helium. helium. The, the universe's, universe's new ability to form elements, the, the building blocks of matter, cued the, the matter era. Much, Much as the name, name suggests, the matter, matter era is defined by the presence and predominance of matter in the universe. universe. It features, it features three epochs that span billions of years, the vast, vast majority, majority of the universe's lifespan, and includes the present day. The, the first was the atomic epoch. In, in this stage, the universe's temperature cooled down enough for electrons to attach to nuclei for the first time. Called recombination, this process helped create the universe's second element, hydrogen. This hydrogen, along with helium atoms, dotted the universe with atomic clouds. Within the clouds, small pockets of gas may have had enough gravity to cause atoms to collect. These clusters of atoms, formed during the galactic epoch, became the seedlings of galaxies. Nestled inside those galaxies, stars began to form. And in doing so, they cued the latest and current stage of the universe's development, the stellar epoch. The formation of stars then caused a tremendous ripple effect and helped shape the universe as we know it. Heat within the stars caused the conversion of helium and hydrogen into almost all the remaining elements in the universe. In turn, those elements became the building blocks for planets, moons, life, everything we see today. This, this ecosystem of everything was, was only possible because of the many stages in the universe's development. While countless questions about the origins of our universe remain, it's only a matter of time for some long-sought answers to emerge. All right, so there goes Esau's well-known theory that fools, fools a lot of people on this earth, the Big Bang Theory, okay? Which is all a bunch of bullshit at the end of the day, okay? Because Esau doesn't, can't back it up, all right? Esau wasn't around, all right? To, so um, he wasn't around um, back then, all right? He's not God, okay? He doesn't know if all this happened or not. He's just giving him um, a, a theory. He's just guessing, all right? 
and it, and then he's it just seems good. It sounds good, all right, to a lot of people. All right, they believe it, so they're just rolling with it. Okay, Jose, the Most High's thoughts are not Esau's thoughts. Okay, so um, let me get that. This is Isaiah 55 and 8. It says, For my thoughts are not your thoughts, neither are your ways my ways, saith the Lord. Okay? So the Most High is on a completely different level than Esau, the basis, um, um, the lowest man, all right, on the planet Earth, in the whole universe, okay? The lowest group of men, all right? The nation of Edom, all right? The Most High is on a completely different level, okay? This is Genesis 1 and 1, all right? In the beginning, all right, the Most High created the heaven and the earth, okay? And the earth was without vo form and void and darkness was upon the face of the deep. And the spirit of the Most High moved upon the face of the waters. And the Most High said, let there be light. And there was light, okay? And the Most High saw the light and it was good. And the most I divided the light from the darkness. Okay. All right. So the most high created the universe. All right. Through what? Through his son. All right. And through the um the um what what this world will call the angels, all right, the powers. Okay. Not not everything just um came with a random explosion, all right? Because the the, the um the universe is too complex, all right. And two, in order, all right, and two, well, Esau made it, The Esau made his kingdom out of order, all right, but the universe is too complex and too um, vast for it to be random, okay? That's a, co a complete slap in the face to the most high, all right, saying all this creation is random, okay? Because like one brother said, all right, he said the moon, all right, is a is a perfect circle, all right? Just like the sun, all right, on these different planets, all right? So you think just a random explosion is going to cause that? No, man. And this is why Esau's the devil. He's a deceiver, okay? So let's get um Proverbs 11, 11, it says a false balance is an abomination to the Lord, but a just weight is his delight. All right. So a false balance is abomination. All right. So the most high does everything in balance. All right. In order. Okay. Nothing's random to the most high. The most high is in control of all things. He does everything for a reason. Okay. This is Deuteronomy 32 and 39. It says, see now that I, even I am he, and there is no God with me. I kill and I make alive. I wound and I heal. Neither is there anything, any that can deliver out of my hand. All right, so the Most High kills and he makes alive. All right, he's the Ancient of Days, all right? He proceeds time, okay? He kills and he makes alive, all right? He's the director of this whole universe, all right? But Esau wants to be God, all right? So he wants to put all these theories anti, all right, against the Most High, at the end of the day, so people can believe that he's the, the highest being on the planet Earth, okay? These elites, all right? When actuality, he's the basis of men, okay? This is 1 Corinthians 3 and 19. For the wisdom of this world is foolishness with the Most High. For it is written, he taketh the wise in their own craftiness. So all the wisdom of this world is foolishness, foolishness with the Most High, Okay? All the bullshit doctrines and all these false religions, all right, that people push out today are all bullshit. It's just all to lead um, Israelites astray, okay? Because the Mosai doesn't care where the, what the other nations do, all right? The Mosai is focusing on you Israelites, all right? You so-called blacks, Latinos, and Native Americans, okay? This is Isaiah 14 and 14. It says, I will ascend.